On my daughter's birthday this year, she wanted a Peppa Pig theme cake. My husband wanted the cake to have a pineapple flavor and I wanted to make a number 3 cake because I have never made a number cake before. So putting it all together, today we are going to make a beautiful number 3 Peppa Pig birthday cake. To start off with, here I have two 7 inch pineapple cake that I have divided into 3 layers. Then the usual steps that is moistening it with sugar syrup and then comes a layer of whipped cream. A tip for you guys here is that whenever you are making multiple cakes or say for example in this case we are making two cakes. So just place it uh, adjacent to each other and do all the steps simultaneously. This would not only save your time but also your resources. And as for the recipes and steps, you can check out my other video on moist eggless pineapple cake recipe. So it covers everything in detail from the tips, tricks, recipes, just everything. So I have just doubled that recipe to make two different cakes here. Two different as in two cakes but the uh, same flavor. So we will crumb coat the cake and then let it chill in the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 minutes. Um, I have done this uh, the previous night of her birthday and did the frosting and all the other steps on the next day. For our next step, let us see how to shape these round cakes to make a number 3 shape. So we will take one of the round cake and with the help of a round container, we will make markings on top of it and then two lines like the way you can see it here at 90 degrees to the uh, inner circle. And then using a sharp knife, just cut out all the sections that is the round inner circle along with the lines that you just made. For our other cake layer as well, we will follow the same instructions that is making an inner circle with the help of a round container. And then here, instead of the 90 degrees that we followed, we will be making a marking say around at 120 or 130 degrees, like the way you can see it. Also please note the marking that I just made. So now that all your markings are in place, simply cut it off with a sharp knife and then remove that section out. And now when we just place the two cakes adjacent to each other, we can see that it is already beginning to form a three shape here. For our next step, all we have to do is carefully and gently transfer these cake to the cake board. So be very careful here. One more thing that is that uh, if you notice that I have lined the cake board with a blue color fondant. So roll out the fondant to the size of your board and then just apply some water onto the base and stick the uh, fondant to your cake board. Allow it to dry overnight. So once you place your cakes, you may have to do some adjustment so to fit it onto the cake board. So be very careful and patiently handle the cake. Simply place them together to resemble the three shape. Continue watching the video for a clear picture. Wipe the board to make sure that it is clean. And then using a bend scraper, just fix the cream that might have got disrupted due to the movements from the other cake board to this one. So now as you all can see, we have a basic number 3 shape here. But then we will tweak in some few adjustments to give it that perfect shape. Like placing some cake onto the space that you can see here. Using your fingers, if you try to make a number 3, you can see that it is still not picture perfect. So make adjustments accordingly like if you have to trim just a bit, go ahead and do that. And if you have to add a few extra parts, then do that as well.
and now using the stabilized whipped cream frosting add a layer of uh, green colored frosting on top to seal all the um, minute changes that you have made the add-ons or to the deletions that you have made just to cover up everything add in the cream so that would stick all the cake together and it would come together a mistake that I did was I did not cover the entire cake with the green frosting first before starting with the piping so you don't do that I would highly recommend you guys to uh, cover the entire cake first with a very thin layer of green color whipped cream frosting before you go ahead with your piping skill that is because when you do the piping sometimes there are chances or possibilities that the cake beneath uh, shows up so it showed up as a white color or a brown color as a contrast to the green so if I had done the entire coating first it would have given a better finish to the cake as what I feel so I am using a grass tip here, uh, tip number 233 to be precise and using that we will cover the entire cake to give the grass effect. So um, I am also going to leave just a little bit of space towards the end to make a pond or a lake kind of effect. Um, the idea is to place some ducks on top of it. So accordingly I leave some space out. It was difficult to reach the inner section of the cake with our grass tip nozzle. So what I did was I transferred the frosting to a piping bag, cut off a small slit and then just piped out some random pipings. <laughs> yes, it resembles more of a noodle than the grass effect but still at the end it looked beautiful. To make the pond or lake effect, simply melt some white chocolate, add a few drops of blue food coloring along with few drops of oil so that the chocolate doesn't split and then just mix it through, transfer it to a parchment paper cone and piping it just like the way you can see it here. I have a detailed video on how to melt your chocolate the right way. You can refer that if you would like to see the exact procedure too. And once I have coated the entire section with the, the white chocolate, I allowed it to dry just a bit, say about a minute or so until it was hardened and then went ahead with the parchment paper cone and swirled it around to give that stream effect. So that completes our number 3 cake. All we have to do now is place some fondant accents on top. I know I do not consider myself an expert in making fondant uh, accents yet. So I have not made a video on that. But I will link all the YouTube videos that I refer to make this particular um, accents. So you can check it out from the description box below. A tip for you guys is that before you place the fondant on top of your whipped cream, apply a simple thin layer of melted chocolate at the base. That way the fondant would stay in place and it would not, uh, what do you say, bleed colors into your cake. On her birthday this year, my daughter wanted a Peppa Pig cake and how could I say no? So the concept is that the Peppa Pig family is going to a park to enjoy their daughter's or Peppa Pig's birthday, having some good time, good food and most importantly having some time feeding the ducks which we as a family often tend to do and that is what I wanted to represent on the cake. So we spend most of our weekends going to a park and feeding the ducks over there. So that is exactly what I have represented with a blue sky and a green grass or park. <laughs> I hope I did justice to it and uh, yeah, um, it's pretty decent. I am not perfect at making fondant accents but I still think it looks beautiful when put together. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. It's a really special cake for me. Um, I have made so many cakes but never uh, one like this. And also since it's for my daughter, it has to be a special one, right? What do you all think about the cake? Let me know in the comments below. I hope I did justice to it. So I'll see you soon with yet another recipe. Until then, this is Sushma signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.